Hello guys, in this video I will answer a question that I've seen on Laracast forum and I think it will be useful for others as well in a video format. Quite an often scenario, for example in the controllers you may have some variable that you need to pass in more than one controller method. So in this case the user asks how to get the categories in every function instead of repeating it like this. And in this video I will show you two ways how to do that local controller way and then view composer way for global views. So I've tried to create some similar scenario in my local project. Imagine you have a product controller and you have categories which you need to load in the list and in the create method. Visually for example you have a list of products and you have categories as a drop-down and then when you want to create the product you also need the categories drop-down to choose that. So first scenario, local scenario in the controller, if you need that variable in all the methods of that one controller, one way could be to add that in a constructor method of the same controller and a private variable. So something like private categories and then public function construct. And in that construct you get this categories equals like this and then you don't need those categories here or categories here but then you cannot use compact like this you need to use array so products equals products and then categories equals this categories like this and basically whenever you need in all those methods you can use this categories but this is, to be honest, quite a rare scenario that all controller methods would need that because some of those methods are invisible. So there is store or update or destroy. It's a typical resource controller. So I would advise that quick method only if you totally need that variable for 100% of methods in that controller. More flexible method is called view composers. So here's the Laravel documentation for that and there are two steps to create the composer. Create the actual class where you would define the rule. The rule is view with and some variable and some value. And then the second step is to assign that composer class to the views that you want. So let's copy and paste all of that and let's create a file in app http view composers. So directory view subdirectory composers like this and let's create category composer category composer php we paste all of that of course we need to rename a lot of things we don't need this category composer we don't need any repository actually we don't need any constructor and we only need that rule so view with categories equals product category in my case all. So we have our category composer. Now how do we bind that to the specific views? If we get back to the documentation there is a file called view service provider but in fact we can do that in app service provider because there is no specific file if you go to app providers there is no view service provider specifically but we can do that in app service provider. In boot we copy and paste from here we need to choose the right facade, support facade, this one, view composer, views, products, index, admin products, index. Callback is category composer. And also we can define the views as array, not only strings. So array, admin product, index, and also admin products, create. So you can define multiple views, and that's actually the whole point with a callback to that category composer. And that means that all those views will contain by default the value of categories. So categories as variable will be accessible in those views even if you don't pass them from here. So we delete all of that. We don't need categories here. And in the create also we don't need categories. So categories will come from view composer. Let's refresh the page. And as you can see, the categories are available in both products create or in products list. They're also here. And also you may want to have some global variables in all the views. So to do that, there is another way. It's called view share. So in the same app service provider, you can assign 
not the view composer but view share like this categories product category all and refresh the page refresh the page the categories are still here and add product the categories are still here now coming not from view composer but from global view share though be careful with that because that will launch that query in all the pages in all the views so if you don't actually need it globally for all the views i would advise to not use that view share instead use view composer like this and assign it only to the views that you actually need so this is how you define the repeating variables from the controller methods and how you extract that to something like view composers